welcome to the channel. My name is Danny Walker. This is my updated makeup tutorial. Thanks for joining for this subscriber requested episode. Please manage your expectations for this episode. I am not a makeup artist. Let's keep that in mind. If you enjoy content like this, please consider subscribing and hitting that notifications bell. And if you want to support the channel, you can do so by checking out the merch store. You can hit that super thanks button, or of course, just share this episode with a friend. That is a huge, huge help. Let's get right into this. Gosh, it wouldn't be a great makeup tutorial without bad lighting. This is what I've been currently doing lately. We're gonna go in with a little bit of this Wet n Wild Photo Focus. Uh, we're just gonna dab on a little bit of this. I just want you to remember you asked for this. Clearly, this is not some really awesome makeup channel. Then I'm gonna get a little bit of this on the brush. Where? Also, Versed sent me this headband. I showed it to you in a vlog, but I just think it's really cute. And if you're wondering where it's from, it's from Versed. Yeah, I'm just kind of pressing this into the skin because I've heard other people say that that's what you should do. Oh, I'm breaking out. Okay, that's fine. It's probably the wrong color because of the season. I don't know. My lighting's not great. I can't really tell. It feels good enough. I just got this. You all my? Just got it. So I saw it on TikTok and it looked pretty good. Look at how cool this is. This is the translucent one. The translucent one is, ooh, it is, ooh, wow. Wow, this is the first time I'm trying this. Translucent one is brand new. All right, I don't know how to do it. You twist it and then it mills the product even more. I always get that ready. Oh, oh my gosh, I just kicked the table on accident. Oh. Okay, right now I'm running out of product and I like to use it all up. So I'm gonna use some of this Revolution Conceal and Define in C5. We're gonna take this It Cosmetics Heavenly Luxe No Tug Dual Eyeshadow Brush. And I'm gonna just dip it into the powder. And tap. Same brush, we're just gonna use the opposite end. I first drag it out and then I start at the end and then I draw basically towards my pupil. And then as with many people, my eyes are unsymmetrical. So this eyelid is a little bigger than this one. So in order to make them look more even, I actually put more eyeliner on this eye. Now let's bring some definition back. So I'm gonna brush off this translucent powder, which is remarkable. Oh my gosh. This stuff, when I apply it, when I touch the brush to my skin, it's like, it like smokes. Like it's so thin, it just, it's like going into the air. And I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but we're gonna see. I normally use a Laura Mercier translucent powder to set my under eye, but this one was on sale for Black Friday. It's like, you know, we're trying it. Normally it retails though for less than 30, I wanna say, and that's already less than the Laura Mercier. So I'm gonna, I mean, this is my testing. I think it looks pretty and I think it's so light, which I like for the under eye, which is why I used the Laura Mercier, but we're gonna see how it just hangs out on my face. To be determined. I broke my butter bronzer and I put it in here. So we're just gonna get what's left and I'm just gonna bronze up the entire face just a little bit because I don't think it matches my neck right now. I also broke my hula bronzer, so I'm gonna grab a little bit of that that I put in here. Pop it on the highest part of my cheekbones. Ooh, look at that. Just bringing that definition back. You know, it's a bronzer, it's not a contour. I've been learning that, but do I have a true contour, like a good taupe right now? No, so we're just gonna be 
a bronzy contour. And you know what? It's fine. If it works for you, then just like do it. I've learned makeup. It's an art, not a science. You know, try new things. Ironically, experiment. Over the corner of my eye a little bit, drag that out. That's fine. Now I'm gonna take a little bit more of that butter bronze. Oh gosh, no, wrong brush. Take more of the butter bronzer, my fluffy brush, and just define my nose a little bit more. And I'm getting the Bare Minerals Well Rested. A little bit of that on that same, that same brush that I used for my under eye. And then I just go in and I'm, I'm highlighting around my nose to contour it a little bit more. I'm using the smallest amount because this stuff is really, really brightening and it can get cakey and it doesn't look good. I'm just gonna brush out the brow. I'm gonna basically just focus on filling in the ends. Just short, small strokes. Look at that, I need the end of my brow, yeah. And I like to elongate it a little bit. It's really just like draw the eyes out more. And I'm just using the e.l.f. brow pencil in taupe. Little hair-like strokes. In the center. This is a new step. I've been taking the Got To Be Glued. It was less than $3. Just got a little bit of this in the spool. Like a little bit of this. This stuff dries pretty quick. I'm gonna brush my brow backwards to get the product into it. And you can brush the brow down. And if there's too much, just throw it on the other brow. I'm just gonna use this to brush up my brows. Give them a bit more of that laminated type look. And then if anything sticks out in a way I don't like, I just kinda go to the edge like that. Like right there. Palladio. It's like a stick blush and I'm just gonna go in and really focus on the apples of my cheeks more more so than like the outside and blend it out with my fingers dab it use a little highlight this is in the color dainty and I found this at a beauty shop in New York I'm using the Maybelline lash sensational Luscious mascara, waterproof. This is the black color. I really like to make sure that I get this brush between my lashes. And I feel like this brush, because it's like a silicone or a plastic, that it really does separate the lash and it pushes through. You can feel it on the base of your lash. And I like that. Nabby pencil in coffee. It's not super brown. It's not super pink or mauve. Kind of a little. One of my favorites, Not to Last, Natalia. This is in the color Flawless. Everybody always asks, this is one of my favorites and I cannot find it anymore. Well, the, I can't find it at the Swap Man anymore. I have noticed though that when I use this on camera, like I like it in real life, but I use it on camera and then it, it looks a little bit light. So I'm gonna go back in with this pencil. There we go, so a little shelf under the lights. Here's my hair, I am ready to film. I added in one clip of Irresistible Me's Extra Volume Clip-In Extensions in the color Dark Blonde. That's my updated makeup routine for you. That's how I've been doing my makeup for my recent episodes and on my social media and in my vlogs. So if you have any other questions, then leave that in the comment section below. Thank you for clicking on this episode. I hope that you enjoyed it, even though it was kind of rough, but it was honestly a very realistic makeup tutorial for my life. So if you have any other requests, leave those in the comments below. Aside from that, thank you so much for watching this episode. I hope that you chose to subscribe and will share this channel with your friends. That's a huge help to me. And if you wanna see other recent episodes or vlogs, I'll link them right up here for you to check out.